A new groundbreaking study could soon take the guessing out of Zika treatment. Texas Biomedical Research Institute right here in San Antonio is working with the team at the University of California, Santa Cruz, to help find an immediate way to diagnose Zika and determine how far the infection has progressed. This tiny chip can change the way we detect viruses. These local researchers are proving it by taking bodily fluids infected with Zika and letting the chip detect the virus. Very small amounts of fluid and the device just looks at what's in the fluid and detects it immediately. It's that immediacy Dr. Jean Patterson says makes the research groundbreaking. She leads the Texas Biomed portion of the study and says never before has technology been able to detect Zika in real time and pinpoint how far the infection has progressed. Crucial information when it comes to treatment. Many of our antivirals work only early in infection and they're less effective later in infection. So if you know you're early in infection, then you could certainly be, be prescribed some antivirals. If it's later, you might not want to bother or you might have other sources of treatments that you would do later in infection. The chip is over in California at UC Santa Cruz, but the virus samples are being prepared right here in this lab at Texas Biomed. The samples come from primates. So we in infect the marmosets and then we draw blood and we look at saliva and urine and semen and then we take those samples and then we transport them to UC Santa Cruz and then they put them in their device and see if they can in fact detect it from bodily fluids. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report in 2018 there were 64 Zika cases in the U.S. and 116 cases in U.S. territories. As the problem continues, this technology could show patients exactly what's happening in inside them and possibly save their lives. They ultimately hope the chip can be used to detect many different viruses. Research on the same exact chip has already been published with use for Ebola. This Zika study could further prove its success.